I've never thought about trying cheerleading at all, but you know, I had a free night. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about being on an all-male squad. I'm nervous about the live performance that we're gonna have to do. I falter under pressure. The only other cheerleading experience I've had was watching Bring It On. Bring It On. Bring It On. Ah, yeah, Bring It On, right? As a kid, when I would go to sporting events, I would always look at the cheerleaders. I would wish maybe that I was a cheerleader. Any other kind of male sport has this like really like dominant, aggressive thing to it where I think cheerleading is presented a little bit more as graceful. So I think girls thrive in that, and guys kind of step away from that. I think it's definitely gonna be hard for me to tap into being what a cheerleader is. I think if you're a male cheerleader, that doesn't make you any less of a man. Cheerleading goes against my own personal idea of what a man is, which again, I think speaks more about me than anything else, but maybe I'll learn something new today. CheerLA is an all-adult nonprofit team dedicated to raising funds for HIV and AIDS awareness charities. We are part of a large organization known as the Pride Cheer Association that aims to raise funds for local charities through our Cheer for Life program. One of the things that I absolutely love about cheerleading is the athleticism of it. The thrill of being physically active and cheering and making people happy and smile you can't beat that feeling. Cheerleading takes a lot of strength, but it's generally not just one person holding a stunt. So you really got to rely on each other, learn each other's strengths and weaknesses, and together we can do these amazing stunts that you know we can never fathom to do on our own. It's been a great way to make lifelong friendships because there's no stronger bond than a cheermate. And if it's something that you truly want to do, never, ever, ever give up. And you're never too old to do it. 51 years old, still doing it. What are you guys thinking? I think we got this. So the basics of stunt, there's a couple different positions that goes through. So there's the back spot, um, which is the glue of the stunt. But the most responsible job is making sure whoever's on top is always safe. If you get hit, it don't matter. You catch it no matter what. There's also two bases. Provide most of the power and the foundation. Then there's lastly the, the top or the flyer. It's a person going on top that puts their life in these people's hands, usually based on body line and strength. They got, got you. you. As long as you're good, you go for it, they got you. If we, we don't got you, the pad too. got you. And we're gonna teach you a dance today. Hop one and two and three, hold four. Put your right wrist over your left one. Four. Ready? They're gonna re-grab. Three. 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 One, two, down, drive. Oh, 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 and down, drive, and settle. That was really nice. This is one, hold two. And two, down. Up, one, two, down, up. No, 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 you're there, you're there. <laughs> All right, good. Let's try from the beginning real quick, from the top. All right, guys, so that's the dance. So you're on your own. Three, four, All right, five, so we're at our six, first seven, team eight. practice here. One, trying, to, trying to practice and count out for these guys. Five, six, seven, eight. We struggled when it came to the lifts. Uh, we got a lot of work to put in if we're gonna nail this for the performance. So Carl and I just worked on the new cheer that we have, and yeah. we're kind of putting a mix of what the Cheer LA taught us and what uh, Bring It On taught us. Hopefully we can pull this off. Are you ready to cheer? <laughs> Man, it's been a long day. It's hard to find the motivation to cheer. So we've only had one practice and we skipped like four or five days and this is our second practice. So hopefully we remember stuff. Yo, what comes after this? <laughs> uh, oh, one and done. And then we're ready. We're ready for you. We're really not though. <laughs> So the performance is tomorrow, and we just did a rehearsal. A pre-performance, if you will. Mm -hmm. I think it went pretty good. Yeah. There's some hiccups, but I feel like from now until the performance, we'll get it right. Yeah, you totally improved. But if any of us messed up, it's gonna be pretty obvious. So yeah. we all individually have to bring it, and bring it on. All right, boys, nothing hits the floor. We stick it. <laughs> I said, whoa, it's training in here. It must be the speeders in the atmosphere. I said, B, U, Z, Z, let's go, Buzzfeed. Roll call, I'm Captain Carl, yeah. My name is King, yeah. I'm Robert, Robert. I'm Robert Ryan, yeah. And I'm still Edgar. <laughs>
I mean, we nailed it. Got the sass and the sexy. When you're younger, like cheerleading and peppiness sounds a little corny, but as an adult, like being positive is a good thing. I didn't think that I had to like turn down my masculinity or anything like that for this. Like when it came time to shake the booty, I was like, yo, I'm gonna shake the booty on beat. I think that doing cheer definitely didn't decrease or increase my masculinity. I think it made me more self-aware. Ever since high school, it was difficult for me to perform in front of people. I don't think it hurts my masculinity. I think it just makes it more solidified. I, I really do think that more men should try cheerleading. I feel stronger because of, of working with these guys. I think if you want to like prove how agile you are, how strong you are, how quick you are, how competitive you can be, fuck with cheerleading.